of welcome back to another video today's topic is bizarre <laughs> if you know me right now you must be confused because sylvia vegetarian what is going on well i'm going to explain in a bit i'm from the tribe of luya and one thing about luyas is that we love chicken if you come to kenya and ask anybody what luyas love luyas love chicken and ugali when i told my friend that now i'm vegetarian her first question was but you love chicken how are you surviving without chicken mind you she's not even from kenya but she used to be my roommate some time back she actually realize how much i love chicken and generally i just used to love eating meat i used to eat all of them beef pork chicken seafood random birds name all of it i used to eat them just got to a point where i realized that i wanted to become vegetarian this is not something that anybody shamed me into doing it's something that i believe in because first of all it's healthy I'm somebody who used to struggle a lot with bloating and bowel movements. Sorry to sound graphic, but yes, I used to struggle with bloating and the other issue. Every time I would eat, I would complain about getting bloated. I know some of my friends used to hear me complain to the point that they would be like, "What is wrong with your stomach? You complain about bloating every single day." But Ever since I started doing my vegetarian diet, everything has just been so good. Generally, my gut health has improved so much, and there's just something about your gut health being good because it's not just your body that feels good, it's your mind, your spirit. And for this reason, I've been having so much energy. I've just been feeling confident, but the health reasons are not the main reasons why I decided to become vegetarian. I'm going to tell you the main reason in a bit. So something about being vegetarian is that it's not expensive. I used to think that becoming vegetarian is expensive and you have to spend a lot of money, but I've realized it's not expensive. I normally eat stuff like beans, lentils, uh nuts, smoothies, salad corn peas and when you look at the prices of this stuff you'll realize that they're not expensive and also something i've been doing is i've been eating a lot of kenyan dishes that are vegetarian if you guys want me to share some of those recipes with you just let me know in the comment section and i'll share them with you also if you follow me on instagram I do try to share some of the foods that I'm eating. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. So the main reason why I decided to become vegetarian is the spiritual aspect. I'm a spiritual person and the point of this video is not to shame anyone. It's not to put pressure on anyone. I think life is too short and I think people should be able to do what they want do what makes you happy do what makes you fulfilled never do something because you feel like you feel pressured or somebody is shaming you into doing it only do something because you believe in it something that i believe is that everything around us has an energy to it some people may say a spirit i kind of see it as the same thing energy and spirit so when animals get slaughtered they feel pain they suffer they get scared they have a lot of fear and when i eat these animals after them going through all these feelings i take on that energy i take on their suffering i take on their pain i take on the fear i literally take on all the energy they felt when they were getting slaughtered and there's always a karma for everything bad that we do i'll say bad in quotes because not everybody believes that eating animals is bad so i'm just going to put it in quotes because that's something that i think is true but not everybody believes that so the karma for eating animals and taking on all this energy the suffering the pain and all that is stuff like getting diseases 
getting infections and just getting a whole bunch of bad stuff happening to us I just realized that you know what this is something that I don't think I want to keep doing and the other reason is I decided to just look up videos of animals getting slaughtered I know I can be weird sometimes but I decided to look at videos of animals getting slaughtered I watched these videos and I felt so bad it was at 12 a.m. and I just you know I just I started crying because I felt bad during this time I was already in the process of like wanting to become vegetarian so I had not eaten meat for like a whole week prior to me watching these videos of animals getting slaughtered but it's not something that I had decided it's official I'm gonna become vegetarian but after watching videos of animals getting slaughtered that was like the breaking point for me I was like okay I, I, I can't keep eating meat anymore so I decided to become vegetarian becoming vegetarian is something that I think should come from within it's something that you have to believe in otherwise you're just gonna feel pressured and you're gonna get to a point where um, you might end up sleeping you know or you might find yourself going back to eating meat and then you're gonna start feeling bad and then it's gonna be a whole roller coaster of you just feeling bad so I think this is something that if you're planning on doing don't be in a rush my one of my friends told me to try it out for 30 days before you act, you officially make that decision that you're gonna be a vegetarian for the rest of your life just give it a try for 30 days and see how you're gonna feel after that and see if it's something you still want to do for the rest of your life something about me though is that i've been vegetarian for like four weeks now and i'm not craving for meat i don't feel like i want meat it's like that part of me that used to crave for meat and used to love meat just died and I feel good I feel so good and that's all I have for you guys in this video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a like and if you're new don't forget to hit the subscribe button bye